What's up, I'm Joe. The best part in any game is that moment that you win. But not just when you win, it's when you win by the skin of your teeth. If you ask any player of any game their favorite memory of playing that game, nine times out of ten it's going to be a time that they thought they had lost, but they snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. And I think it's true in games and in life that that's about the balance that you're looking for. Games are at their most exciting when there's a real risk of failure. That moment when defeat seems inevitable and you think, oh no, this is it, but then somehow through sheer force of will you spin around and win out of nowhere. But in order to get that feeling, we actually have to know that failure is an option. In other words, we have to have a goal that can fail. Nothing certain is ever really that interesting. The only things we ever talk about are things that we're not quite sure on. I talked a while ago about that brain buzz that you get from completing something, and I think that goes for winning as well. But it only counts if you think that failing is going to happen. That boost of serotonin is in direct relation to the difficulty of the task you've just performed. In other words, the more likely you are to fail, the better it feels when you succeed. That's why when I'm GMing for my group, I have no qualms about sending huge monsters that I don't even think they're going to be able to handle at them, because the goal of that game is to get them as close to death as possible without going over. Those are the things that you take away with you. And if you're playing a competitive game, it's most fun when you're super close matched head to head so that you have to try your absolute hardest to win. And that holds in life too. If you're able to watch this video, that means by default you're in easy mode. So when I see people complaining online about first world problems, I think that's just a hashtag that means my life isn't that interesting. The size of a person's problems are directly related to how interesting their life is. So if you're looking at your problems and you're thinking, man, these aren't great problems. Maybe it's time to go out and turn up the difficulty. The only people who have the same problems over and over and over again are NPCs. Don't be an NPC. 50 XP for watching. Peace and love.